Hey there Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly tarot forecast for April 2022. Remember you do have a monthly astrology report for April already up and you can check that out by clicking on my avatar below and going to my main channel page. You'll see all of the playlists with all the content of this channel nice and organized there for you. And a little tidbit I've been doing at the beginning of each of these videos uh, in response to a good comment that I got last month. It was a question, really. And they were asking, when it comes to approaching the astrology forecasts and the tarot forecasts, you know, they sync up, but there are going to be some things that stick out. How does one approach that or how would I recommend approaching it? When it comes to looking at my content, and I can only speak for my content because Tarot and astrology are not a monolith. It's not a religion. We are not all here doing the same thing or, you know, serving the same function. And anyone who says that we are is showing you their red flags, by the way. Anyway, when it comes to looking at my content, simply put, I would recommend looking at the astrology report as the weather report and the tarot report as the traffic report, right? You're getting a more holistic and complete look at everything that's going on. They are going to sync up and they are going to present information that's a bit different from the other one, but you are getting a more complete view, okay? That's how I would recommend looking at it. If you are looking at your rising sign tarot right now, you are getting additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign tarot is going to show up. And your moon sign is going to be giving you the less prominent, albeit still significant side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the month. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, just go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com or follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. This month, your big spiritual theme or the big spiritual focus is the Three of Wands reversed. And so there is a focus on correction going on when it comes to some wrong turns or a correction of delays, corrections of distractions, as well as getting a chance to get caught up on things that we may have been missing out on or things that have suffered delays or setbacks in recent months, or even for some of you, recent years. Because the Three of Wands reversed is giving us an opportunity to make some adjustments in order to claim and have in hand a lot of things that we may not necessarily know we've been missing out on or just things that we've kept putting off, kept getting procrastinated because of distractions, kept having to get adjusted, kept having to get set back. And a lot of you are going to find that this is a month of making up for a lot of lost time. This is also going to be a month where a lot of things that you've been trying to do for months or for years that maybe you have not had the time or the resources or the power to enact are also going to be presenting to you. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, you do have the Queen of Wands upright as well as the Wheel of Fortune upright. And with the Queen of Wands upright, this is going to be a month where a lot of you Aquarian people are getting taken by the hand by either one person or maybe multiple people to help you to bring something up to a higher level, whether it's a work project, an assignment, an investment, or maybe a job opportunity that is allowing you to step out of a status or a quality of life, or maybe get out from underneath a limitation you have been stuck in or working with for some time. The Queen of Wands often will show up as either a person or if it's not a person, like I said, it could be multiple people in opportunity that behaves almost like a very high energy and very engaged manager, talent manager, leader, mentor, go between. It is one of those big helper cards. And this could be something that is showing up through a collaboration or a boss or maybe a brilliant new boss that could be giving you a new job. The Queen of Wands is helping you to step into a space where you are not only a lot more comfortable, feeling a lot more affluent, but we're also promoting you out of maybe a status quo that you have maybe stayed too long in when it comes to your professional life or maybe your financial life. With the Queen of Wands, you've got to be ready. However, there is going to be more demand for you to be more consistently engaged 
to be more consistently available and quite possibly take some steps that are going to pull you out of a comfort zone or more of a lax routine or a steady as she goes kind of attitude you may have had in recent weeks or recent months. With the Wheel of Fortune upright, things are burgeoning all around you, and you are going to be finding that some chance opportunities to see a goal or a project that you have been working on triple in size in terms of not only what it is going to be giving back to you, but how much awareness it is getting or it is generating from the populace. Now, this could be the populace at your job, in your industry, or in your field. If you work for yourself, of course, this could be your client or your customer base. The Wheel of Fortune Upright is also putting you on a fast track to another growth spurt that you will likely get a chance to have settled and cemented by the time we get into mid-June. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you do have the Lover's Card upright, as well as the Page of Cups upright. And with the Lover's Card upright, I'm seeing an alliance getting formed this month. This could be some kind of win-win commitment, a contract, or collaboration that is having a bit of a 1 plus 1 equals 3 effect, where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts on paper. This could be something that you are doing with a friend or a family member or maybe a member of a team you are on. Some of you may find that you are getting brought together to take a certain connection or a certain project more seriously than you have. I do see that this is going to most likely be a long-term commitment that is getting established at this time, something that is not only going to immediately start paying out now, but it is building up to a big transition point for you down the road. This may be something that forces you to adjust a lot of investments or a lot of time or maybe a lot of commitments that you have held on to that are holding you in the past or keeping you in a routine or a quality of life that isn't growing so that you can go where the action is. With the Page of Cups, we are also seeing a lot of people in your life handing things off to you. This is a time where you are the recipient of many gifts. A lot of personal treasures as well as hookups are going to be in the offering for you. In fact, a lot of you uh, Aquarian people may be finding that your support system, your friendship circles, family circles, your teams are going to not only be gifting you with things that they are finding or retrieving for you, but they may also be operating in a very strong matchmaker kind of capacity, matchmaking you with a lot of things that are going to help you catch up or make up for lost time or maybe even recover things that we thought we have come too far away from. Sometimes this can show up Yes, very much. When we are talking about being match made with ideal job opportunities, living situation opportunities, or maybe connecting us to important people. And for a lot of you, this can also show up when we are talking about a bit of romantic matchmaking. So it seems like it's covering the entire spectrum. Your challenge is this month are the Knight of Swords upright, as well as the Six of Swords upright. And with the Knight of Swords upright, a lot of you Aquarian people are going to need to see where, as we've kind of seen a little bit of that message consistently throughout this month, where you've got to be okay with intensifying things and speeding things up. Because the six, uh, sorry, the, the Knight of Swords upright is indicating here that you are getting an opportunity to have a lot of people not only go to work for you with the lovers, the page of cups, the queen of wands, but you've got to be willing to let things progress more quickly. Maybe you have been putting off some transitions. You've been maybe taking things a bit too slow. There is such a thing as playing it too safe. We don't have to go from playing it too safe to being heedless or reckless, but the knight of swords is saying you are challenged with hurrying yourself along. This is also a time with the Six of Swords upright where you may be challenged 
to allow yourself to finalize or announce or commit to certain departures that you may have forgotten you wanted to make, especially over the course of the last year or two. Sometimes with the Six of Swords, it's requiring us to be ready to trust a bit in the unknown or to stop looking for things that are familiar to us to affirm security and safety, right? Sometimes we might not necessarily trust that something is good unless it's kind of doing the song and dance that we're familiar with. Well, guess what? Sometimes the things that we're familiar with can't take us any further than where we've been and how far they've brought us till now. So with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords, it's all about getting the let out. This is also a time where a lot of you are getting a chance to expand your social circles and connect to broader territory. So if you've been keeping yourself, you know, small, if you've been keeping yourself, you know, kind of cloistered, this is a month where you're being asked to come out of your bubble. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you have the Two of Wands reversed as well as the Eight of Wands upright. And with the Two of Wands reversed, there may be some points this month where a commitment or a long-term plan that we have been engaged in with a spouse or, um, you know, a romantic partner or maybe even somebody recent that we're not official with yet, maybe even somebody brand new, if somebody new shows up this month, has to be gone over again. Because it's not necessarily anything personal, but it has to do with being on track, staying on track. Where have we maybe lost our way? Because the Two of Wands reverse is indicating that we might not all be on the same page, or we may discover that with regards to a certain goal or a certain aspiration, we've gotten a bit lost on a detour. Or there is maybe a setback that we are getting a chance to correct, but we are needing to challenge our belief about what made the setback happen. With the Two of Wands reverse, sometimes this can happen with miscommunications or mistranslations when it comes to messages going back and forth. So there is going to need to be, you know, some clarity that is brought to the table, especially when it comes to personal and couple intentions for the near future. And a lot of you are going to find that there could be some changes going on with a partner's plans that are making them a lot more flexible at this point as well. So if anyone's been sort of stuck in their ways, stuck in their ruts, we're also seeing an opportunity for some flexibility, thank goodness. And with the Eight of Wands upright, we are seeing a massive acceleration to the maturation and the growth of our relationship or maybe the growth of our family. We are progressing to a much more mutually enhancing and satisfying state. In fact, with the Eight of Wands upright, some of you may be getting started with a partner on something that does take you out of your wheelhouse, does take you out of your comfort zone. Some of you who have been making big plans with your partner for, you know, either becoming official or stepping it up in terms of our status, getting ready to expand on the household or move or launch some kind of enterprise are going to find that this month is trying to move you forward as quickly as possible. And new relationship opportunities are also starting rather quickly. In fact, new people that show up may, you know, be very good fits for you and you for them, but we want to make sure that we are staying on the same page and not just trusting the fact that we're going so fast that everything's just going to take care of itself, right? We don't want to go about it that way. Remember, the two of wands reversed. We've got to check in with, with each other and understand where everyone's intentions really are so that we can keep this flow going in the right direction. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.